welcome to another video. I should stop shouting. A lot of you say I shout, but I don't mind about shouting. So guys, hello, welcome to another video. Today's video, I am talking about five books that will actually blow your mind. Well, I hope they'd blow your mind. They blew my mind. Half of it's literally over there. Some of it been over there. Some of it's over there. I'm literally mind blown. Blow mine. Oh, that sounds wrong. But anyway, today I am talking about five books that I've recently read that really did stand with me, move me, make me laugh, cry, shot, everything. They gave me all the emotions, they blew my mind. Title. So first off, thank you to all the Tomies who are really smashing the thumbs up button. Let's see if we can get this video to 500 thumbs up. And if you're new here, please do subscribe and join the Tomies. And also hit that notification button and join the notification squad. Who here's in the notification squad? Let me know in the comments. So let's get on with this video and talk about the five books that have blown my mind. Starting off with The Novice by Taryn Mathuru. This is the first book in the Summoner series. It is a trilogy with an upcoming prequel story. So it is four books in the series, but you have this trilogy that stands alone. This is the first book in the trilogy. Almost complete trilogy. It's coming out soon. I read it yesterday and it's amazing. I've actually read this book twice and the whole premise of this novel, it is a fantasy story following a boy called Fletcher who is given a magical book that allows him to summon demons. He is a commoner who really shouldn't have the ability to summon um, and to be able to summon means you can summon demons. Now in this book, it is a bit like Pokemon in the sense that these demons are a mishmash of different animals um, and he has, well, I'm not going to tell you what demon he can summon, but let me just tell you the clues on the book cover. This book is rich with characters, an amazing fantasy setting, and basically he's shipped off to a boarding school to learn his abilities with summoning, and there's magic that comes with that. And then he's mixed up with a kind of age-old war that's coming along. So, you should definitely check this out for fans of Lord of the Rings, Warcraft, Skyrim meets Pokemon and Harry Potter. Yes, I know people say Harry Potter and it's super duper cringe, because normally it's not like Harry Potter, but because of the boarding school aspect and the magic, it has got that feel to it again. And I've read this twice, and it's just so good. Both times in one day. Cracking on with the paranormal read, of course, because you know I love witches and I love paranormal reads, and that is Blackheath by Gabriella Lepore. This is the first book in the Blackheath Witches trilogy, the Blackheath Witches series. It's two book series, and they're both out currently. And this follows our character Maggie, who is in this town, and this boy called Joel and his family move, and they're kind of believed to be witches. People kind of joke about it and laugh, but they are actually witches, and there's really unique magic system in this. It's like colour magic, but you've got to read to find out. But basically, Maggie has all this awfully bad luck, awful, awful bad luck, and at this carnival, slash fair. This witch tells her that she is under a curse and she kind of thinks, well how the hell and what the hell is going on? So she goes to Joel to find out how she break it and they kind of build this friendship up and this little love story that's going on as well as the twists and turns to find out what is actually going on with Maggie. You guys should check this book out if you like paranormal witches reads. I mean I know I love it and you should check it out. Next I'm going to be talking about a post-apocalyptic, oh hello, my Hufflepuff bookmark fell out. So this is Scavenger of Souls by Joshua David Bellin. This is the sequel to Colony 9, which in this series is a post-apocalyptic story set in a world after some sort of great kerfuffle and everything's very desert learned and basically it's these colonies of people surviving and we have our main character who in this story is travelling across land to try and find sanctuary and in this story as well there's these monsters guys which are almost alien-like but monster-like so it's a bit of this sci-fi smashed with the supernatural and uh, <sighs> been possessed. And basically they're able to take over a person's identity by devouring them and this boy has the ability to kind of burn them to, to really scare them with this beam he has so it's like there is some crazy stuff going on and it is super duper good and I just love the kind of the setting of the story I think it is fantastic so you should check this out if you like post-apocalyptic reads because you know you should next I want to recommend this book and it's Want by Cindy Pond it's coming out I believe this June yes in June and this is a fantastic story again a dystopian story set a divided society between the wealthy and the poor and it's all about the production of these suits and basically the wealthy making the poor poorer by giving them diseases so they have to buy the things that they're creating and it's about a group of teens trying to sabotage that. There's murder, there's romance, there's action and it is so well paced. This novel is fantastic and one of the most interesting reads I've read and I think the most unique reads i read. Cindy Pon, want your want uh, this book. And last but not least I am recommending to you an urban fantasy because you know I always talk about fantasy books and at the end of the day guys you always tell me that I love fantasy. Shattered Blue by Lauren Bird Horowitz, an urban fantasy story with fae, fairies, all that good stuff. I mean, we all love fae, we all love fairies. I mean, I think I might be one. I've been called a fairy all my life. But yes, Shattered Blue follows a girl who just is really trying to deal with the, the um, what's that word? She's overcoming, she's grieving for her sister. Her sister's recently died, she's grieving. And she's going to school and she's kind of struggling in her life. Her mum's really affected by the death of her sister. And then these this boy turns up at school. They have this really like kickoff relationship. But it turns out that he's fae and he's been banished from his realm to 
the human realm because of something like terrible that's happened. And they kind of fall in love, but they shouldn't really be falling in love. But then the Fey World get involved, and she gets involved with Fey World, and then shit goes wrong. This book and the sequel, Renegade Red, destroyed me. Why do you always leave it on cliffhangers, Lauren? Tell me. Why don't you tell me? So there are the five books that I really, really blew my mind. You definitely guys should check it out, really. I mean, if you want your mind blown, not other things, then check this series out. God, I'm so extra. So anyway, I'll leave all the good reads links down below. Definitely come and check out my social media. I've got a new Instagram thing going on, so if you want to come and follow this, come and follow this. And apart from that, I'll see you all again for another video very soon. See you later! Now, I know those who have stuck around for the end want to know who won this book in the giveaway, which I've recently just sorted, and I will tell you who's won. I print screened the winner yesterday, and I'm gonna let you know who it is, so bear with me. Where are ya? Retta09, Retta09, you have won! This book, The Shadow Hunters, the Mortal Instruments colouring book, definitely come over to my Twitter and follow me and DM me all your details so I can get this in the post to you and send it to you pretty soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye.